hi and welcome to another vlog thanks so much for returning appreciate it this vlog is going to be paneling i did another vlog um i will put it up here that um was me paneling the dining room and <laughs> i came to panel this room and we've already got the data rail up if you can see and i realized that i totally was winging it because I, I didn't even know where to start and i couldn't even think how to do it and again I've done it or I'm doing it, I'm in the middle of doing it and I'm totally winging it myself. So panelling is easy once you get going, but to start off with it is a little bit daunting, but it's fine. We're on a roll. We've got, let me give you an update. We've got the day day rail up here, which was good. And we have also cut all of the panels. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm quickly gonna show you on a little time lapse. I say me cutting the panels, but it was Luke, is there? Luke pretty much cut them. Well, he cut them all, but I obviously helped with the measuring. And we're ready to get them on the wall, but I'll show you a little time lapse of that. Yeah, I'm gonna crack on with now gluing the sections, all these beautiful bits of wood up on the wall. And hopefully in this whole vlog, you'll be able to see the finish um, ask call, but it depends how long it takes me. But yeah. Whenever <laughs> I'm doing like DIY, I like to put Netflix on in the background. Don't ask me why, I just do. You'd have seen in, um, the time lapse a minute ago we've cut all the panels so the first one i'm going to do is i'm going to do this, this one i've already drawn it out on the wall i've got my um evo grip i'm sure any type of like wall glue that doesn't really matter but i've got um oh yeah it's still coming out i've got evo grip oops that, that was the one good thing i'm painting well when we did the dado rail along here we have used pins we've pinned it as well because it was a long piece of wood so we found that pinning it would definitely help and then i'll just cork over the pins let's do this one so what panels do i need i need two of them and two of them i think yeah okay so oh i've got two of that size and two of that size this size they are really similar but they are slightly different so to check always hold it up to the wall that's obviously the top and bottom that size and then this size should go there and there so that will be like that now all i do is glue it on the wall so once you've cut them and you've done the sizes and you've drawn on the wall on the wall on the wall it should be pretty easy but i'm gonna say that but <laughs> i'm just gonna find out so Let's just do it. Let's just go for it. Right, I'm gonna give you some music. I'm gonna put it on a little, little time lapse, so enjoy. Okay, so we are finding on here that some of the wall is slightly wonky. Either the wall's a bit wonky or this wood's a little bit twisted because t twice now it just won't stick. So Luke's had to come and knock some pins in. But we're looking all right. <laughs> Damaged a bit. Oh, and again. <laughs> um, so far, so good. Which is good. halfway but we're missing two 
I'm missing two of these because we ran out of panelling and when I went to Wix they didn't have any so that was a bit of a bummer. So I'm going to finish off best I can. I think I can probably do um, the bottom square and that's probably it until Wix gets some more in stock. So I'll probably come back to you then which will be in the next clip. <laughs> okay so we are actually <laughs> From when you last saw um, what I was doing with the panelling, we had a bit of an issue because we run out of moulds, like a strip of panelling mould. So I went to two or three wixes, 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 and I had to drive an hour to go and get one length of moulding. But I did it and I didn't vlog it because it was very stressful. But I got it and then I managed to finish, as you can see. I finished all the panels now. So you can see that all the panels are up. They are glued on and they are now ready for caulking. So now all the panels are up, it is time to cork and I have just picked up Wix cork decorators filler, multi-purpose in white. Obviously it's just normal cork, I'm sure there are other brands that makes but this is the one that I've gone for and my plan is to cork all, so all the edges any gaps also where the nails are i'm going to fill them in with filler because apparently that's what you're meant to do so well, i'm going to fill them tiny little holes with, with filler and then give them a little rub down also some of the corners could do with a little rub down but i'll do that tomorrow um but yeah i'm just going to crack on now and get this filled and just film some close-ups so you can see how i do it i've, I've never really caught so we're just going to give it a go <laughs> 